What's up, people? So it is bright and early. Check this out, guys. We got some baby chicks. All right, guys, as promised at the end of my last video, I said that I had some little things that chirp in the barn. I ordered some uh, little chicks online from Tractor Supply. I want to give them a shout out. They did an excellent job packaging in them. They also had them delivered fairly quickly. Uh, we ended up ordering 20 of them. I got 10 of the Sapphire Gems and 10 of the Black Sex Links. Uh, they are doing really well. We do have two heat lamps over here. Uh, temperatures are currently in the 40s and they are nice and warm, nice and healthy. We just have a little chicken tractor that we got online. My dad was doing a review for, so we put them in here for now until they're old enough to be able to free range. But overall, I was very pleased with the way Tractor Supply handled everything. And uh, I'm looking forward to these little things growing up and laying us some eggs here in the future. So comment down below, let me know what you think of the little babies. It's pretty fun out here just watching them just interact with each other, just see how they actually live their life as such a young bird. I'm pretty sure when we got them, they were only like a couple of days old. and It seemed like they've already doubled in size, which is crazy. But I do have their uh, water and their feed over here on this side where it's a little cooler. And then like I said, I have the two heat lamps on this side. So if they want to stay warm, they come over here. If they want to cool off a bit, they'll just come over here and eat and stuff. So. Once they get a little bigger, they'll be able to climb up into the house here. And then uh, once they're even bigger than that, we'll let them free range. And then uh, once I get my chicken coop built on my property, bring them on over and start having some fresh eggs. Boom. All right, so while I was out here, I went ahead and fed all the goats and the chickens. They're pretty much wrapping up their breakfast. <laughs> What's up, baby girl? up little buddy here are the hens over here the full grown ones there's only four left well three hens and a rooster but the gray birds I got are like her right there uh, just a beautiful bird I believe that's one I got from tractor supply that I gave my parents a couple of years ago and it's doing really well just crapped on camera but can't expect much more than that from a chicken but yeah all the animals doing great on to the next task.
Well, what we're trying to do is we're going to be shooting a level between my foundation over there across the way and we're going to measure for Jared's over here to see if it's going to be anywhere close to what we're doing. Uh, we're hoping that it's going to be pretty close. Go over in front of the window. Move your left hand. Okay. Come on. So it's from here, I shot a level of 3.2. So we're gonna see the difference in here. Could be a lot of difference, but I'm not sure. So it's been a little bit. I left dad alone. Let's see what all he's done out here. I swear once he gets started, he will not stop out here. Hopefully he didn't dig to China because that's the last thing I need out here is the uh, FBI and the DOJ coming to see what I'm dealing with China. But he dug pretty close to it. Check this out. Oh! Look at this, guys. This thing's about four feet deep, way deeper than I thought it was gonna be, which is awesome. The deeper, the better. We finally hit that nice layer of clay. Woo! Trying to make a slope up there so the dogs can get out without getting stuck in here. We got all this extra clay and dirt and stuff over here, which is awesome. We still need to backfill over here. Exactly what we're doing. Woo. Try not to get run over.
right, guys. Will he do it? Oh. It's been pretty fun watching him do this. But this is definitely going to hold water a lot better. We will come back in with the uh, pine liner as well. But it's definitely uh, pretty deep, way deeper than I thought. That is one big ass hole in my front yard, my goodness. Look at all this extra dirt we have now. We can start smoothing it out, filling in all these low spots. Once I get some plastic, we'll line that pond there, fill it back up, bring Daisy and Tucker out here. Whew, they're gonna love it. That just shows how deep this is. Then I have all my firecracker plants lined all along here. They're all starting to shoot out new growth like this. And it goes all the way around the pond. So this whole section, if you're standing in the bottom and these firecracker plants are growing up, you won't even be able to see yourself out from over there. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Comment down below and tell Dad once again, thank you for helping me out. He is a pro on this tractor. My goodness, way better than I am. Still quite a bit of a breeze out here. You can see old glory, the American flag, Texas flag. Boom, doesn't get any better than that. So anyways, thank you for watching. I can't do it without you guys. I appreciate you, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.